Good morning, sir. Good morning. Have a seat. Thank you. Sir, yes. uh, so recently I have one of these glasses. I am not feeling comfortable with these glasses. Okay. What problem you are having? Like, uh, while seeing uh, with one eye, single eye, I feel comfortable. Right? But while seeing with both eyes, I feel like headache and eye strain, especially while reading. Can you hear me? You just wait, I will confirm with my senior and let you know. Sir, there is one patient, she is not comfortable with the glasses binocularly, but monocularly she is reading 6 by 6, sir. So, what I can do, sir? Okay, have you done binocular balancing? No, sir. So, basically, a binocular balancing means accommodation. We have to balance in both eyes. If we are not balancing, then same kind of complaint will be happening for the patients. So, once you have done the monocular subjective refraction, then you have to go for the binocular balancing, right? So we are balancing basically the accommodation of the patients. Okay, so let's go and uh, do the binocular balancing. Friends, let's understand how binocular balancing can be done. Usually there are various techniques to balance the accommodation. Yes, this technique is done not to balance the visual equity, but to balance the accommodation. And to perform this test, you need to do your monocular subjective refraction. Steps like fogging, JCC, duochrome, everything needs to be done before doing this binocular balancing. So many people think when we do a monocular subjective refraction, so the end point or the value through which the patients read 6 by 6 is the end of the refraction, which is not true. You have to do the binocular balancing to get the accurate refraction. So let's understand how the balancing can be done. So though there are various techniques, but today in this video, I'll be talking of the alternate occlusion as well as the prism dissociation technique. I have a patient whose glass prescription is minus two in the both eye. Though her visual equity with the right and the left eye is six by six, but still she has certain complaints. So ma'am, what is the problem with you with the glass? Like uh, especially while doing air work, while doing reading, I feel eye strain and uh, also the headache with glasses. Uh, this side temporarily I feel headache. Okay. So what we did, we did a refraction again and I found my monocular subjective refraction in the right eye to be same. What she is using minus 2. Left eye, I got minus 1.75 but she is using minus 2. So this is slightly lesser, but still I'll be doing the binocular balancing to confirm whether the accommodation in her both eyes are balanced or not. To start binocular balancing, we need to fog the eye. So there are various ways in which you can fog. Some people use a partial method of fogging by putting plus one to fog two line above the base corrected visual equity. But here I have used NRA method and I have got plus 2.5 as a fogging lenses. If you want to know and learn more about the NRA, the video is already uploaded. You can go to the description. So my NRA value for the patient is 2.5. So I'm going to put in front of her eyes. So ideally this will make her 6 by 60 blur. So is the image optotype blur? Yes. To test the alternate occlusion method, I'll alternately ask the patient the image from the which eye is better. Right, right. So the clarity from the right eye is more. It suggests that the right eye is still accommodating. So to control the accommodation, we have to use some small plus lenses. And now again confirm whether the image between the two eye is equally blur or not. Is it equally blur? Yes. So equal blur means both eyes accommodation is balanced. None of the eyes are accommodating. And from here, you can defog the eye to get the six by six of the visual equity. Usually we use a maximum plus and the minimum minus. But in this video, I'll be talking little more detail about the prism dissociation method. To dissociate the eye, we have to use a vertical prisms. So you can use a small amount of prism. So I'm going to use a vertical prism to dissociate the image. One eye I'm going to put 
the base up prisms and other eye i'll put the base down prism okay so can you see the two screen or the letters yes. okay which among the two is uh, more clear or are they equally blur the lower one is lower one is more clear so lower one has a base uh, up prisms and so it suggests that the right eye is still accommodating so to balance the accommodation we have to use a small amount that again i'm going to add plus 0.25 in the right eye and confirm whether the image in the both eyes are equally blur or not is it both images are equally blur it means we have got the uh, accommodation balance so from here what you have to do you have to remove this prisms so i'm going to defog this so we use the same way how we do our normal fogging so first you have to put the lens and then you have to remove the previous lenses so we have got the right combination of the lenses through which the patient was reading 6 by 6 in the right eye and the left eye so what we have got with plus 0.75 she was reading 66 means the right eye was over corrected with minus 0.75 so her actual power should be 1.25 and the left eye we got plus 0.5 means the size is over corrected with minus 0.5 so her correct refraction for the left eye should be 1.25 so hence both eye was over corrected and both eyes she has minus 1.25 as the refractive error so friends binocular balancing kafi important technique hai procedure hai optometry ya refraction ke सो आप जरूर कर हर पेशेंट में क्योंकि इससे अकोमोडेशन बैलेंस रहता है पेशेंट के जो सिम्टम्स होते हैं हेड एक या आइस्ट्रेन प्रिस्क्रिप्शन की वजह से वो नहीं होगा पेशेंट ज़्यादा एक्सेप्टेबल रहेगा और ज़्यादा कंफर्टेबल रहता है ग्लासेस होप यू लाइक द वीडियो इफ़ यू थिंक दिस वीडियो वॉज इन्फॉर्मेटिव प्लीज शेयर इथ विद योर फ्रेंड्स सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर सच अपडेटेड वीडियोज फॉर एनी क्वेरी एंड सजेशंस काइंडली लिव इट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स